guys, welcome to today's Vehicle Visionary. Today I'm at Orr Ford in Stonewall, Louisiana, and beside me is the 2020 Ford Fusion SE. Before we get too far into today's video, I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Gall Star TV, the premier bracket racing channel right here on YouTube. But it's not just about racing, there's actually a whole lot more involved in it. You'll get to see what goes into going rounds and eliminations and setting the car up and all that good stuff, but you'll also get to see what goes on with Tom Gall and his family. His father races and his wife and his two kids are involved with their racing as well. They have great merchandise available through their YouTube channel and the website gallstartv.com. So make sure to check that out and hit the subscribe button when you go over to Gallstar TV. One of the great features of the 2020 Ford Fusion is that all trim levels come standard with Ford Copilot. Ford Copilot includes automatic high beam headlamps, lane keep assist, pre-collision warning with automatic emergency braking, and a rear view camera. Now one thing I'd like to point out is a very interesting fact to save you some time. If you're interested in opening the hood for whatever reason you need to open the hood on the Fusion, the hood release is actually not located in the center of the hood, but instead here on the left hand side, as you can see on your screen right now. The 1.5 liter EcoBoost that is found under the hood of the 2020 Fusion is putting out 181 horsepower and 185 foot-pounds of torque. It does feature start-stop technology and is paired with a six-speed transmission. It gets 23 miles per gallon in the city and 34 miles per gallon out on the highway. When it comes to accessing your rather spacious trunk, in the five passenger Ford Fusion. You have three different options beginning with the button just to the left of the steering wheel on the interior of the Fusion. You can also use the remote that includes lock, unlock, the trunk release button, and a panic button, or you can use the button right here just above the license plate bracket on the trunk itself. There is a reasonable amount of storage space back here for you if you need that, but if that doesn't happen to be enough, you can lower the seat backs in the back seat of the Fusion to increase your storage space that much more. The Fusion does not have a spare tire, but it does have an emergency inflation kit that is located in the trunk. All right, guys, I'm heading out on the road with the Fusion here. And one thing I do want to point out to begin with here, the engine is not overly powerful, but with 181 horsepower is going to get you down the road nicely. But of course, you know from what I said earlier, 23 miles per gallon in the city and 34 out on the highway, that that's gonna be a benefit to you. The acceleration is good. Of course, everything is easy to get to. You do have the infotainment screen with all of the regular features that you would expect from Ford. The instrument cluster is nice. You have all of the steering wheel controls right here on the steering wheel itself, so you can adjust everything from the radio, the volume, the station you're listening to, answer and hang up on phone calls, and you can make adjustments and run through different settings and different things you might want to know about your Fusion on the dashboard itself. So quite a bit here, and it rides well. It actually rides and drives really well. It's a nice, comfortable vehicle, so if you're looking for something that isn't going to give you a harsh, stiff ride, something that's going to be enjoyable to take on a nice long trip and not wear you out just from the driving experience itself, this is a great vehicle to consider. I like the fact that everything is easily accessible, easy to get to, and it's a very fun car to drive. I'd like to take this out for a little bit longer test drive, but really don't have that option today. But I have to say, from what little I've done here, I'm really impressed with the Fusion, the way it drives, the way it rides, the way it accelerates. Everything is nice and comfortable. Like I said, seating for five here, and the acceleration is good for a 1.5 liter engine. So we're gonna step out here. I'm gonna give a little bit of an acceleration test. It does seem to kinda have to struggle a little bit to get going if you put the gas pedal down, but not too bad. And that will bring to a close my time with the 2020 Ford Fusion. I'd like to thank Orr Ford for loaning me this Fusion for the day and like to thank today's video sponsor, Gallstar TV, 
for sponsoring the video. And of course, all of you for taking the time to watch. If you haven't subscribed to Vehicle Visionary, please be sure to do so and share this video on your timelines on social media. I appreciate each and every one of you, and we'll see you next time.